Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and today we are looking at a brand new Bendy and the Ink Machine theory. Did Alice Angel resurrect Boris, and is Alice a good character in the world of Bendy and the Ink Machine? I started thinking about this after seeing a tweet from the game's creator The Meatly, where he stated, there's no problem an angel can't fix. Now obviously the angel reference in this tweet is Alice, and generally we think of a problem as being something negative. Boris's death would be a big problem, especially for Boris, so maybe Alice brought him back to life, hence why we see him show up during the final moments of chapter 2. Throughout history, angels have been known as angelic entities with divine powers, and are usually associated with good rather than evil. There are of course fallen angels, the devil himself was once the angel Lucifer, before God cast him out of heaven for his rebellion and pride, according to the Old Testament. I had, in a previous video examining the teaser image posted for Chapter 3, suggested that Alice Angel could be a bad guy, as the visual symbolism of that picture did signify that. Alice has a halo, but also a set of horns, and her show was even called Sent From Above, pointing to her perhaps being a fallen angel herself. However, the Meatly's most recent tweet does point to Alice being a good guy. And how else would Boris suddenly be alive and walking again after this happened to him? I mean, surely without some kind of divine intervention, there's no coming back from having your chest ripped open. We also have Bendy, who is known as an ink demon. It does make sense when you think about it to have an angel as a counterbalance in such a storyline, don't you think? The forces of good pitted against the forces of evil. The real question, however, isn't how, but rather why. Why would Alice revive Boris? Why would Alice be against Bendy? The only conclusion I can come to is that Alice needs Boris for something. Now previously, I theorised that Boris may be Wally Franks. Wally is the janitor and handyman at Joey Drew Studios, so it could be he has information on the workings of the ink machine and knows how to shut it down and prevent the ritual from getting out of hand. Why does Alice Angel want to stop the ritual? Well, if she is indeed a force of divinity, then surely it is as simple as wanting to stop the bad guy, right? But also remember, Alice's voice actress Susie Campbell had a rivalry with Bendy and wished to be as popular as him one day, so perhaps by suppressing Bendy, Alice feels she will finally get the spotlight and fame she always craved. People really seem to enjoy my Alice Angel voice. Sammy says she may be as popular as Bendy someday. Alice and I, we're going places. So let's roll with this notion that Alice Angel is a good character who has the ability to bring the dead back to life. What implications does this have on Chapter 3, and how it could end up playing? Well for me personally, Bendy the Ink Machine has always felt inspired by the Bioshock series. From the audio logs found scattered around, to the ink covered hallways reminiscent of the flooded ones found in Bioshock, to the objective pop-ins that trigger after a new point of interest is unearthed. If Chapter 3 continues this inspiration, and Alice is indeed a good character, perhaps she will be included as some kind of checkpoint system, or quick revival for the player, much like Elizabeth was in Bioshock Infinite. For now, all we can do is speculate, but if Alice Angel is the source of Boris's resurrection, and a divine entity within the world of Bendy, then perhaps Henry has finally found the weapon he needs to effectively take the fight to Bendy himself. In the meantime, we'll just have to wait for Chapter 3. And that's it for today's video guys, I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, remember to give it a like, and subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this one, and I will see you on the next video.